So the Optus Cup and the ARL competition is underway. So is Friday Night Football. The Bears bring it back. Michael Butner against his old team. Tackle back on his own 20 metre line. Decoys going left and right. Scott Petherbridge knows already that it's going to be hard and tough out there. He's used to that though. David Fairley, two years back, Rothman's medal winner. It's the most impressive North Sydney lineup. Josh Stewart, number 14. And a penalty for a high shot, I think it is, against Parramatta. I think the final swinging arm from Dean Pay will be the penalty, Ray. A little cheap shot there from Dean Pay, the captain of the Parramatta side. They're fired up, obviously. This is such an important game for both teams. And there you'll see Pay coming in on the right hand side. No damage done, apart from the penalty. And Jason Taylor picking up a further 15 metres with the kick. So the tennis Trindle. Johnston in the headgear. Soden out from dummy half. Down the blind they come. Florimo. Pay. Shutting down the ball. Committed Dean Pay in defence in the opening exchanges. Fairly pushes it out. Larson is there. And Larson's on his way to the ground. Heavy stuff by Smith and Campbell. Soden with a scurry to the 20. Centralising play, the last. Tap to the, to the air. Beautiful kick. Marked on the fall by David Riolo. Another one of the new signings for Parramatta, Riolo. It was a big test for him first up because Jason Taylor's kick was excellent. Now he got pretty good coverage from a couple of men in front. Stuart Kelly was one. Now Dean Pay feels the North Sydney defence. Campbell again. Penalty against the Bears. Too many of them inside the 10 is the ruling. And the crowd hyped up very early here, Peter, at Parramatta Stadium. There's an air of expectancy, isn't there? They really want Parramatta to, to do something this year. Well, they've been waiting a while, Paul, and it's a, it's a marvellous crowd in here. As you say, expectations are high. And if ever the, anybody needed a lift here, it was seeing Adam Ritson. I'm sure his fellow teammates, when they saw him walk into the sheds, well, they would have thought, how good is this? Johnston thought about getting it out the back. Pay was there. Troy Campbell, a dummy half. Then Simon, kicks to the outside backs. They'll have the jump. They've got the speed. McCracken is with it. Back and away. A chance here for King. Chris King is over. First try of the Optus Cup. And that's a great start for the Eels. Very, very good work at dummy half from Jim Dimmick. And the angle of the Chris King run. He doesn't score many tries, was perfect. This set it up, a kick early in the tackle count from John Simon. The chasers knew it was on, taken by McCracken. Jim Dimmick goes to dummy half, and have a look at the angle that comes back. Dimmick committed Michael Butner. The Norse defence hadn't set themselves, and the angle of Chris King's run was too much to handle. That's right, the quick play the ball was the, the thing there, and Norse defence was too slow coming up. They were only just getting back into position when King was hitting the ball on the advantage line, and the first... Uh, time the Eels get the football they score a try interesting tactic actually the, the kick before only on the third tackle which really nearly caught North out John Simon another of the players upon whom his hopes are based try came to a young man who was thoroughly deserving of it he's been at Parramatta for a long time and on the end of beatings. John Simon converts. Parramatta over North Sydney, six points to nil. Back now to the halfway. And uh, team scored against a kickoff. sending it very deep. 
Kraken comes back. They're going to need a very good year from McCracken, I feel. It's all very well to boast the forward lineup that they have, but they're going to need Jared McCracken at his best out in the centres. Stewart has come from the field as Campbell plays the ball. They work right. Smith. And he's kicked from inside his own 40, just watching the bounce. Back on the 20-meter line, Matt Sears. And then slithering underneath them out of the 30. Chris Caruana in the number four shirt. Red line on the 40-meter line. So if they kick from inside that line and find it inside the 20, then, and find touch, other than on the full, they get the loose head and feed. Great to see Matty Sears pick that ball up and hair across field. We didn't see the best of him last year. He, he started the season with an injury and well, he was plagued by nickly little things throughout the season. He'll be one of the trump cards for the Bears as the last tackle is signal. Taylor goes to the line, drills it low. David Riolo, he might let this one go. Steve Roach on the sidelines. What's wrong with Josh Stewart, mate? Yeah, he's got a cut above the right eye. He's been replaced by Billy Moore. And let's remember the ARL are still keeping the unlimited interchange rule. Place kick restart from the 20 meter line. Morgan is on, the try scorer is off. Demick then starting to launch another attacking raid from inside his own 30 meter line. Johnston, Peter Johnston, left Parramatta. Uh, in the eyes of many, quite unbelievably. His roots very much in the Parramatta district. He went to South, he went to Illawarra. And the big bloke is back at Parramatta now. Here's Jason Smith putting it down. Chance here for the Bears. They'll have the loose and the feed. 45 metres out. Not like Jason Smith. Six nothing. Chris King a try. Converted by John Simon. Quite a few former Illawarra players linking up in this Parramatta side. As Caruana is wrapped up. Parramatta's defense out in the centers. Concentrated. Intense. Billy Moore playing it back. Didn't face goal goal. Manson allowing it to go. Nigel Roy talking of the Steelers. Then a long ball for Taylor to push on. Butner to give around the back. Sears to join in. Eichen is with it. 25 away from the Eels line. The Eels 6 0. Friday night, the first of them. Butner and Taylor. Moore bumping away from Dimmick. Taylor. Ridden into the ground and roughed up by Dimmick. Sloppy play the ball. And he's ruled a knock on. Well, they're a little bit bustled, the North Sydney Bears. Very strong. Eels defence coming up there. And the North attack is a little bit flat at this stage. He's content to just pass the football. Let's watch Taylor. Yeah, that's a crook play the ball. And he did knock the ball forward. Obviously, the Eels have been told that North Sydney runs some very good plays, set plays throughout their set of six. Plenty of decoys, second man running. And against that kind of attack, you've really got to make sure your communication is spot on in defence. Everybody must know whose man is who. Play by Kelly there. Now David Woods. Troy Campbell. Raper played in second grade tonight. Campbell has done a wonderful job in the absence of the Australian representative. McCracken cleaning up the ball going forward. So another scrum will see North's given a chance 30 metres away from the Parramatta line. I think you'll find Jason Smith was the man making the mistake again. Turned the back. Very, very dangerous. It was intercept written all over that. It's got Petherbridge coming in looking for the football. But the second mistake from Jason Smith in his own danger area. I can't recall the match that Jason had a horror game with his hands. I've just got a feeling it was a state of origin for you. 
as I looked across to the Queensland coach. He nodded, but not approvingly. Fairly. Then Soden. Soden thought about the blind, tried to take the Marcus out of it. He did that, and then Taylor links up. He goes around the back, picks up a second man. Eichen throws it and hopes for the best, and one of the Bears went up. Didn't come down with the bow, it was Caruana. Yeah, nice chance there for the Bears, but you've got to say that's a pretty poor play from Ben Eichen in his second year with the, the North Sydney team. A desperation pass, really, on an early tackle. Didn't have to be thrown. Dean Pace come down with his head, the side of his head on the top of Chris Caruana's head. And uh, the Parramatta captain receiving some attention. Morgan is the 17 who unloaded that short ball. Kelly is the 5'8". You've got to play the ball backwards, just letting you know once or twice to keep us up to speed with the rule changes. This is Johnston. Campbell getting a kick in from dummy half. I don't recall him doing that all that often. Maybe he's worked on that part of his game. It's very advantageous to have a dummy half that can kick. Sears then plays it. Werrett is in pursuit here with the number five, Nigel Roy. Big success for Parramatta. Shane Werrett, of course, in the sevens, which they won. And now Florimo with brute strength and then an unload. And then Soden finding Fairley. Fairley to the halfway. Eichen crosses it. Then to the 40. Down the sideline goes Petherbridge. The infield kick, the regather. Beautiful stuff by Scott Petherbridge. Five metres out from the line. Taylor, floating pass for Butner. He rolls it into the end goal. There's a chance. Did they get it down? No. Ruled over the dead ball line. Oh, exciting rugby league there from the Bears. A great bust down the far side from Benny Eichen. Beautiful pass as well. Look at this for a skill. He threw a crook one a minute ago. That's a cracker. Petherbridge put it on the, the toe, got it back. Nice play from him. And then out wide, Butner had, had some men out there, but decided to kick. Look at the overlap. And couldn't get there in time. It's a very easy game from in the stands, but you've got to say, in retrospect, going through the hands might have been the better option. He had a lot of numbers there. If the kick had been better placed, it was certainly a try. I think they might have got a try. They were able to promote the football. Played then by Morgan. I thought the dummy half pass was suspect. So the kick rolling down to the 10 metre line. Matt Sears. See, that's another thing that uh, the fullbacks aren't probably fully aware of. They, from where they would be on the field, they wouldn't know whether the kick was made inside the 40 metre line or not. So there's a very good reason to think that anything just outside the 40 metre line, the wingers and fullback will pick it up and uh, make a kick return, which is another advantage to that rule. They should have called it the Peter Sterling rule. He's been on about it for four years that I can remember. Larson. Now the last. 6 0 Parramatta. Try for Chris King, converted by John Simon. And Taylor clears. Barnes has got it. And they're looking for the sideline for Nathan Barnes. And uh, that's bad play by him. And his second mistake in a matter of minutes. He was the man that came in off his wing to allow Scott Petherbridge to get away. And this is very strong tackle. Excellent work from Eichen to help Petherbridge. They kept the momentum going towards the, the sideline. And the Bears, with a bit more possession at this end of the field, really starting to warm to their task. Deep back line set for the Bears. Taylor there. They come across the park. Eichen looking to unload. Quick scurry out from dummy half by Caruana. And then there's been a pass go forward. Nigel Roy was off down the right touchline. Well, to win football games, you've got to play sets of six, and uh, that's a tragic mistake there for the North Sydney side. He just held the ball up a fraction too long. 
before he found Roy on the burst, but pass went forward. North just unable to keep that pressure on. Unlike Parramatta, when they came up with their first try, David Riolo, who was 15 when Brian Smith was coaching at Illawarra, here's a penalty going to the Eels. And again, he's found North Sydney offside, inside the 10. tap himself now they cut out one and find pay and then smith in the center so they set up for an attack either way the idea was to reach the center of the park as quickly as they could they did that on one play this is the second gimmick tried to get it away and the big man was bursting down the right mccracken if there is a criticism of jim dimmick's game and there aren't many every now and then he just looks for the big play this is a pass that really was never on. The man that he was passing to was well covered by the defence anyway, and it was only the second tackle, so the percentage wasn't on his side. Bears win the scrum. Bridge gets involved from the blind side wing. Good strong tackle there. Dean Pay combining with McCracken. Moromo then working shoulder to shoulder with Billy Moore. Soden appeals for a penalty, and Manson replies with the penalty that he called for against the Parramatta defence holding down Jim Dimmick the major offender it would appear that Dimmick copped a knock here and was uh, was in a daze well, he copped an accidental elbow great atmosphere at Parramatta Stadium it lends itself to uh, to rugby league this stadium better than probably any stadium in Sydney and they've got a crowd in of around about oh, 26, 27,000, I'm only guessing, but somewhere there. And it's Fairley who puts it down. Florimo's working overtime. The one team out there's got to take the initiative and just close the play down a little bit. Just get a good set of six under their belt because it's been a while since we've seen that happen. David Fairley, another strong start for him in this game. Already six hit-ups. He's the man that they're looking for a little bit wide to cause a few problems on the fringe of the ruck. Big engagement for young Kelly tonight. David Woods. This will be a penalty to Parramatta. It's been raked out by one of the Bears coming out of the tackle. penalty John Simon finds it now on the Bears 40 meter line Morgan and then pay taken down by by uh, Trindle Campbell comes back for one down the blind side David Woods is there wrapped up by Carol one the opposite number then away for Simon and on for Chris King fresh man back on Inside the 20 meter line, the crowd start to support the Eels. Been a long time since they've been down here. Simon, eight meters out, center of the ground. Campbell, Campbell, unloading well. Riolo back on the blind for King. Chris King not held, goes for it. This is the last. Campbell again. Long ball for Simon. The cross kick is looking for the flankers. Taken by McCracken, but he's in front of the kicker, I think. Penalty has gone to the Bears. Well, it's ex exciting football here. How close did Chris King go? He must have been a millimetre away. And then they overran the kick out wide. Simon held it up as well. And were they offside? That's debatable. I think the referee got it right. I think McCracken did overrun him. 
tried to crop back. Good work from Stuart Kelly to get the ball over the line, but to no avail. A bit of a let-off for the Bears. And a second tackle. Gary Larson, his face pass to David Fairley. Centre field, 35 out. Soden putting together a second man play. Karawana is playing right centre. And now Taylor. Billy Moore stepping inside Smith, taken by Pay, giving it back for Taylor. And now Taylor's run into blue and gold traffic. 45 metres away from his own line, the North Sydney captain. Michael Butner's kick is very full. In fact, it's too, it's too much in the doubt on the fall, so it'll come back. Well, there's a perfect case of why coaches end up feeding pigeons in the park. Second tackle and Steve Trindle throws a pass to no one. Yeah, I just wonder whether the ball actually went back and was touched by the Parramatta player. Yeah, it seemed, it to, come off, play on. seemed to come off one of their leaks, didn't it? Yeah. So the Eels will come away from their own territory without any pressure. Kelly now has uh, unloaded badly and there's a chance for the Bears. They're going to put it over the line. Billy Moore's in. Well, young shape, Stuart Kelly has unloaded. First tackle inside his own 20-metre line. And Billy Moore off Reba has hurt Parramatta in the worst possible way. Yeah, that's heartbreaking, isn't it? Poor ball security there from Kelly. The action of the tackle, the motion of the tackle, swung the ball out. Picked up very good defensive effort there from Dean Pay to get across, but when the unload occurred, there was no stopping Billy Moore. The Bears take advantage of a, a horrible mistake. It's the worst possible situation if you're a forward. You've been working hard for 25 minutes. You look up from the scrum, and the opposition is running in a try. And you can't coach against those sort of things. So Taylor almost certainly will convert. 25 in from Tuff. And Ken Fernick side of the ground. He's hit it badly. He's missed it, Jason Taylor. 6-4, Parramatta over the Bears. Oh, that's unbelievable. It's like shelling peas for Taylor normally. John Simon with a lofted restart. Butner sends Gary Larson back. Really hitting hard in defence and they're hitting in numbers. Both sides. This is Reba. I was looking at some statistics earlier. I don't know the Parramatta's beaten North Sydney in their last nine outings. 1990 was the last positive result for the Eels. A youngster out there for Parramatta in jersey number 16, Carl Lovell. His first taste at the top grade. He's a jersey flag player. Played there for the last two seasons. He grabs on him as Nathan Barnes. Cleans up well on the first bounce. Throws the dummy. He can't beat the tackle of Ben Eichen. Good chase by Eichen. Bears. I've got a problem with Mark Soden, Steve Roach. He's got a cork knee at the moment, uh, but he'll be all right. There's Mark back at the benches. The Eels now meet the North Sydney defence line just outside their own 30. This is Lovell. Right in the centre of the ground on the 40 metre line. Jim Dimmick using Pay and Pay tries to unload. It went forward from him. And David Manson will call it up for a scrum. It's just got a little bit scrappy in the last 10 minutes or so. I think North Sydney have, have forced Parramatta into these mistakes. 
Veal starting to get a little bit frustrated by the quality of this Norse defence. We've seen Jim Dimmick come up with a similar mistake to that one from Dean Page, just trying to force the football and not finding it easy to get offloads against North Sydney. And that's something normally that those kind of players, re players revel in. So here's the Bears now with their fullback joining into the back line and he's met and pushed back. This is Moore. He's played very well. He started on the bench, but he's really added some thrust to the North Sydney forward since he's come on. Now, Fritz. Another of the Illawarra players involved in this game. Weaver doing the work of Soden at the moment. David Fairley. Right on the 20 metre line. The captain's calling it, but it's gone the opposite way. Butner. A rolling kick, rubbing into the end goal, and Riolo was there. Barnes. Both fullbacks tonight have been very safe and very good in fielding the kicks that have gone through. High ones and a couple of grubbers. Look fairly dangerous, but both Sears and Riolo perfectly positioned. Jason Bell is on in 14. Just played that ball. One of the uh, stars of Parramatta's sevens this year. And we made the comment then that he looks as though he's thinned down considerably. This will be a penalty to Parramatta, and it's because a player without possession, without the ball, was taken out. Shane Werrett it was. Yeah, taken out. Trying to run off Jason, uh, off, uh, off Jared McCracken here. And Michael Beatley just takes him out before he had the football. The penalty had to be given. Dimmick with the line finder. Six four. Parramatta with their nose in front. Dimmick players working off him. It's Kelly, I think, the five eight. Morgan seventeen. 30 metres away from the North Sydney line. Leading by two. Dimmick floating the pass. It's gone straight over the sideline. Florimo and Billy Moore. A little understanding of each other's play. Josh Stewart. Matt Sears. Fighting to get up to dummy half occasionally. Taylor got a lovely pass away. Butner can't hold it. The Eels come up with it. David Woods, wear it. Away from the number 12. The crowd begging for wear it to get into some open pasture. King, try scorer. Right on the halfway line. Coming on down towards half time. Campbell looking for Simon. Morgan. Smith. Then Woods. Chance on for the blue and golds. Wear it. Wear it down the left of the ground. Smith. Simon. Morgan. The last. Simon. Riolo's pass has gone straight into touch. This was Wonderful the way to, opportunity. Yeah, this was the way to come. Really, if David Woods had a stayed on the outside, it was a two-on-one situation. Fritz. Reba. Lation, 17. Fairly is off. Reba. Moore. Florimo. Taylor. Eichen. Beautiful passing. Sears on the inside. Wrapped up by Dimmick. 
In fact, Lovell it is, and Campbell on their own 40 meter line. Stewart. Jason Smith. They might have a chance on the left. They couldn't promote it quickly enough. Wear it. Now he's played it forward. That's the new rule. No markers, and Dean Pay has tapped it forward. Yeah, unfortunate there for Parramatta, but I just noticed Jason Smith. It's taken him probably 25 minutes to get into this game, and once he has, he's lurking out wide on this left-hand side, and he's starting to create some problems for the North Sydney defence. It'll be a hard luck story for Parramatta and Dean Pay if North Sydney are able to do something here. Timepiece, two and a quarter minutes. An opportunity that the Bears didn't expect. It presents itself, it starts to unfold now. Billy Moore. Teeth clenched, hitting the line. Sears, 10 metres out. Likewise, Taylor. And then Big Fritz. Seven metres out. Reba. Florimoa cut out pass. There's a chance on Caruana. Eight points to six now. The Bears. They go to the lead on half time. Yes, it's amazing, isn't it? The mistake that Jason Smith has come up with leads to a, a try right at the death of this first half. I think we'll see that happen to a few more players in the opening weeks of this competition. As we freeze play there, you can see the numbers for North Sydney. This was the player that had the problem, and then obviously Shane Warrett out wide. It was three on, on one, he was never a chance. As play continued, the cutout pass was perfect, the dummy thrown, and Caruana scoots across. Yeah, David Woods, the man, is sprinted off, off, off his line, but it's probably hard not to in that situation. You haven't got much room to, to back off. He had to make a decision, and uh, they had too many numbers anyway, North Sydney. And Darren Fritz making his mark too for the Bears uh, early in this game. He's some big hard charges from him. I'll tell you who else has been in this first half, Josh Stewart. That's Taylor's shot. To go in with it, oh gee, he's hitting it badly. What have you done to him, Rebs? I mean, he didn't miss a kick all of 1996. You know what he did to him? He said he'd kick it. Get it. <laughs> I understand that I mean, you, don't, you don't have to tell the viewers 16,000 times. I put a hex on the 12 disciples. Have a look at this. Somewhere between 28 and 30, probably. As Taylor gets us into the second half. And Big McCracken coming back. Butner taking him head on, one on one. Dimmick now. Oh, this might be a penalty. It is. Well, the referees missed Jim Dimmick trying to play on quickly. He's taken the tap. He's kicked it over his head. This is quite unbelievable. Penalty goes against Florimo. Dimmick wants to play on. Kicks it over his head. Uh, unfortunately, David Manson was looking elsewhere. Jason Taylor knew what had happened. So Dean Pay. Talking of getting rid of those negative thoughts. The captain would have to be doing that now. As Chris King puts it down, Chris Caruana comes away with it. Then away from Fairley for Florimo. Mark Soden is back. Trindle. So the Bears. Pressing into a danger situation for Parramatta. Soden took a very heavy tackle there from Johnston. Taylor also on the end of a Johnston special, aided by King. A couple of the little men from North running into the big hitting Peter Johnston. David Fairley probing for the opening. 
That's five. Sears. Taylor. Off Butner. King comes away for Parramatta. Thought about a pass. Nigel Roy was menacing, looking for the, the loose ball. Dimmick. And as a result of one of those Johnston tackles, uh, Ray Soden's already been forced off with a head injury and Reaver's back on. Johnston now. What do the coaches have to say, Steve? Yeah, well, both coaches were very happy. Uh, Peter Louie for North Sydney, uh, he was happy with the way that they came back. He wants them to stick to their fundamentals. Thought they were a little bit too flat in attack and forced passes would cost them. He wants them to dominate a little bit more in defence. Uh, well, for Parramatta, Brian Smith again was very happy. Made sure of your one-on-one -on -one tackles. Some more quick men in the dummy half uh, to get themselves out of trouble. And they're over enthusiasm with the ball in hand. They've got to consolidate, but he's happy that they're trying things. Steve Roach sidelines and I would think the big fellas enjoying it I was just talking to some of the people around the press area at half time and uh, they're saying what a good match we've got here Florimo then across the face of Larson into Taylor off the ground second bounce Butner put under pressure by the pass. Taylor then from deep inside his own territory. David Riolo on the kick return. Eight points to six. North Sydney with two tries and incredibly. No goal from Taylor, a chance as McCracken makes a break. Knocked on by the Yales. McCracken ran out of pace. Gathered in by Sears. Yeah, great chance there for the Parramatta side to get another try. A beautiful break made for McCracken, put the foot down, got through Florimo's tackle, and then he went Wooshka. He was always covered by Matt Sears, though. The inside ball wasn't handled and the chance goes begging for the eels it was a poor pass from McCracken but I think he took the right option he had to somehow commit both North Sydney defenders he was able to do that but unfortunately the pass went back inside and was kicked over the sideline by Stuart Kelly his support player Petherbridge Florimo now Soden's had an unhappy night. He had a cork just above the knee in the first half. And no sooner had he come back into the battle and he's off again on the end of the Peter Johnston tackle. That's Trindle. Time up. David Riolo coming back. Oh, was touched in flight. Dimmick. Shutting off over towards Shane Warrett's wing. Pay. Out the back for Campbell and away for Dimmick. On for Smith. Then for McCracken. Back and taken by Smith. Angles back to the centre for Campbell. Good work by the number nine. Handled twice, backed up. Then we are. Then Simon. Now Dimmick. Over the 30. Down into the hands of Fairley. Oh, what a catch. They're looking good though, aren't they? They're throwing the ball. Getting some second phase play going as well. And Jason Smith once again lurking out wide causing problems for the Bears. More. This is the passage of play that saw Parramatta supporting the ball carrier, backing up. Good work by Campbell. And obviously the other good side for Parramatta is the involvement of Jared McCracken. Matt 
fears underneath the Deaton play tackle. Early, early times in the second half. Two points in it. Buchner. Morgan's over the top. Dimmick underneath. Back to the left for Taylor. Got a kick off the left foot. Bounces well for Werrett. Carawana made the tackle from an onside position. 25 away from their own line now. David Woods decides he'll try himself. Offloads for Campbell. That's where they're at, just outside the 30 metre line. Oh, Johnston has put it down. The Bears pick up the advantage. Fairly. Now, can North Sydney ram home the advantage? Uh, trouble here against Dean Pay. He's gone in very awkwardly to a tackle. And come out the worst where the short ball to Butner. Strong running and strong defence from Dimmick. Sears then, Parramatta's only got 12 players. Pay can't get to his feet. Ben Eichen, Florimo, away from Reba for Taylor. Taylor on for Sears. Desperation stuff. Pay is still out of it. He's been taken off. 10 metres out. Florimo, a rebound. And knocked on or knocked forward. And it'll come back for the knock on and the scrum. Oh, what about this? A simple mistake from Peter Johnson put his team in awful trouble. The rebound, oh so close. Petherbridge coming in off his wing like a good winger. And this was Dean Pay going in on the wrong angle. He went straight to the ground. And the good news is he actually walked off unaided, so we might see Pay back in the action at some stage. Kelly. Parramatta breathing just a little bit easier now. Lovell. The inherent on the wing for the Eels. His first time in the top grade. Replaced David Woods. Peter Johnston. And Dean Pay back on the sidelines. Kick was taken from outside the 40 metre line just fractionally and rolling over the dead board. Steve, uh, you might just uh, bring us up to date on those injuries. Soden and Pay. Yeah, uh, Mark Soden, he's got a busted blood vessel on his cheek. It looks a lot worse than it is, uh, but I don't think he'll be back. And Dean Pay just winded. He'll be back. So we're just inside the Bears 30 metre line. Reba. They haven't lost anything with his presence, Mark Reba. And that's not meant to be disrespectful to Mark Soden. Here he is again, Reba. Played a big part in one of the tries. And very effective out of dummy half. Caruana. Florimo. Taylor. Left foot kick. Icons in pursuit. So is the winger. Manson is penalised for being in front of the kicker and going inside the 10 metre circle. This must be very close. See Jason Taylor chases, I think they're onside. They're easily onside, it's, it's a mistake from the referee. And that situation would, would come from the referee or the touch judge. And just looking at the touch judge, I thought he had his arm out indicating that all was okay so i can only imagine then that manson overruled him watch just watch the touch judge in the bottom of the screen see the arm out now manson must have overruled him well, that's a very dangerous uh, well, or, did, yeah, well, it's just a very just bold move by the referee just didn't see him i suppose 45 metres away from the Bears line, Parramatta mounting an attack. Dimmick and Smith, Smith is into a gap. 22 metres out. Oh, and a knock on. And what a tackle from Matt Sears. I think he's hurt Jason Smith. 
wasn't in a tackle. Some good play there from the Eels, the inside ball catching out the, the slow Norse defence back on the inside, and it was left to one-on-one. -on -one. Nice ball from Dimmick. A couple of Norse players dropping off back on the inside. There's the gap. Goes, J Jason Smith goes through. Oh, got him right around the legs. Beautiful. The yard. How good was the call? Been a good contest out there. Around the scrum base, Kelly and Butner. Florimo taking a long look at the touch, Judge. He might have got a little facial. Fairly. And now Stewart. Reba calling for a quick play of the ball. Out to the right, Fritz is on. Fairly again. Florimo. And then very quickly they swept them along the line. It's been touched in flight. Six more tackles. And Butner will play it just inside the 40 meter line. Taylor chimes in. Caruana. Don't know that he was expecting it, but he did well. Sears. Back now finding Stewart. Inside the 20 metre line, a couple left. Oh, a knock on of the play, the ball. Stuart had that uh, right eye damaged earlier in the game. Guilty of that mistake. Bean play has come back on. Peter Johnston has come off. John Simon to work the scrum. Riola in from the back. Barnes. Isn't it uh, refreshing to think that that rule book has finally been changed in relation to where the ball should go in the scrum? Hey, Campbell, Dimmick, the right foot, looking on the right for the big man, Ian Heron charging down the ground, but it's out on the fall. That's a really bad option from Jim Dimmick, I think he knows it. Ian Heron, got a little bit of a flyer. The play was never going to unfold to a great Parramatta advantage. And now, a scrum feed 40 metres out centre field, six up their sleeve from the scrum win. The Bears are going to be very dangerous in this set. Sears. Running out into the centres where Nathan Barnes has moved in from the wing to the centres. Florimo. Taylor. Stewart ran a decoy for Fairley. Fritz, 25 metres out from the Parramatta line, two points the difference, the Bears, 8-6. Larson out wide, and again the defence, pulverising defence, and Larson is the latest casualty. Well, I was going to say, give well to hold on to that football, it was a, a real pressure pass that one, there were Parramatta players all over the place. As Gary received the football, I think he actually loses it, doesn't he, at one stage? He did in the end. Oh no, he's held on it right to the death. So Gary Larson getting some attention. It looks as though it's a concussion. We'll take a break, come back in a moment. Two points the difference the Bears over the Eels. <laughs> Sky audience in uh, New Zealand. Two tries to one. Parramatta scored the first try, if you've just joined us. And uh, Taylor unsuccessful tonight with two attempts at conversion. And this was the tackle on Gary Larson. 
he is as tough as Teak Gary Larson. Very rare to see him stay down and in some distress, discomfort. Jim Dimmick, a back slam at the end of the initial impact. And a kind of double banger. Gary Larson removed from the ground on the medicab. Heavily concussed after the tackle. And Jim Dimmick in the main. And you can imagine how much impact was in the tackle because Gary Larson is one of the toughest men in the game. So Parramatta winning the scrum. North now without their number eight. And David Woods coming away from dummy half. Lation is back on for the Bears. Fifty-six minutes of the game gone. No addition to the halftime scoreline. As Barnes tries to slice through, he was dragging Taylor along the ground for a few metres. And now Smith cuts out play, finds Dimmick. Now Barnes again. Infield goes McCracken. Last tackle now for the Eels. Dimmick and then Simon. Simon kicks high, giving the runners time. Paramatis. Had a chance. This will be a knock on. I thought for a moment it might have been offside. I do think there were some chases in front of John Simon. Whether he was able to put them on side was very doubtful. It was a great kick. Never seen a kick go too high, and that one put all sorts of pressure on Nigel Roy. So Parramatta with a great opportunity to get the lead back here. Jason Bell at 5'8". Simon goes himself along the side of the scrum base, up the blind side. Five metres out from the line. Then it's with Jason Smith. Can Parramatta break the North Sydney defence? They've done it once tonight. Simon, Dean Pay, Shane Wirrett. Wirrett has plunged into the corner. The Yales are back in front. An excellent pass there. Shane Wirrett, he's done an, an amazing job to score this try because he had no room to work in. The switch of play looked like it was coming right. It went left. Good straight running from Dean Pay. He committed a couple of plays. And you see Nigel Roy has left his wing. That allows Shane Wirrett just a, an inch of room and he took full advantage. Yeah, well, Norse had the numbers here. They had about six or seven plays, but they had, weren't spread enough in defence. And that's a good ball there from Dean Pay. Where he puts the cape on, dives in. Professional sprinter Shane Werrick wanted to try his hand at rugby league. The Sydney City Roosters gave him that chance, and now he's with Parramatta. Let's just have a look at the lead-up to this. Jason Smith struggling to get the ball to the try line. There's the hand on it from Josh Stewart. Out it rolls, and he's played it. So the referee, if you'd have seen it, may well have pulled that up for a knock-on against Jason Smith. We may have even thought that there was a hand from Josh Stewart, but... In the end, play was called on. They're at the corner. Well, nine times out of ten, you would see a referee either penalised for the hand dislodging the ball or the player not rising to his feet and playing the ball. So it doesn't matter which way you look at it, play should have been stopped. With that incident, ten points to eight. And Heron from the sideline. 
just away to the left of the uprights. Still two points the margin, but the pendulum has swung. One hour of the game gone. The Eels by two. Steve, what's the story on uh, Gary Larson's injury? Yeah, as we thought, uh, bad concussion. I don't think that he will be back. But it's interesting to see the interchange. Uh, Brian Smith, the coach of Parramatta, has used tw over 20 interchanges, three times more than North Sydney. Ball coming out, and the penalty goes to Parramatta. Stealing the ball in the tackle. And Blocker, the one thing that Brian Smith does like to do in the interchange is, is rotate the front rowers very regularly. There's the ball pushed out by Ben Eichen. There were two players in the tackle, so that's illegal. Johnston is back. There's some havoc out there to the opposition. Heron taking it towards the centre of the park. David Woods, an infield pass. Jason Bell follows. Barnes, a scamper out from dummy half. Good metres, simple plays. Simon. Bell again. The 30 metre line under Jason as he rises. The last. Simon for the kick. Plenty of time for the runners. Sears comes away with it after losing it behind him. Roy. No Brett Dallas tonight. Nation. Reba. Stewart. Fairly now. Crosses for 40. Taylor's kick from inside the 40 metre line and where it's forced to cover and bring it back. Perfect example of what the new rule is hoped to do for the game. What it also does, Ray, is, is force Shane Merritt and his wingers back. David Woods gets collared. Shane Merritt was a long way behind his front defensive line as another penalty goes the Eels' way, so they're getting some momentum. And really an opportunity to run the ball on the last tackle, opening up for both teams. This was frustration for Ben Eichen. The player had been tackled by the number 17 and then is dragged down again. David Manson, little alternative other than to penalise. As John Simon aims this attack across to the left. Dimmick up the centre! Straight through! Inside the 20! Pulled down on the 10 metre line! away for Lovell, two metres out from the line, Parramatta leading by two, floating pass from Campbell for Barnes, Jason Bell calling the dummy half, he wants the ball, it's with him now, shows it to play, across for Simon, infield for Smith, Jason Smith pulled down ten metres out, Campbell, Simon, Dimmick, oh, great tackle, tremendous hands by Dimmick, McCracken, Heron, goes in field, gets the pass away, the arm didn't touch the ground, Simon, 10 metres out, 5 gone, Dimmick again, Jason Smith, came off the Bears, came off the Eels, back to the Bears, and the pressure valve comes on. Uh, great stuff there from the Eels. Nearly getting another try. Might have wrapped it up for them, but it would appear to me that Norse are tiring. And this uh, good use of the interchange from Brian Smith 
three times to one, so Stephen Race told us. It's going to pay off in the end. Their players look a bit fresher, Parramatta. And the Bears were under all sorts of pressure there because Mark Regal was down. So it was a 12-man defensive line. He's actually leaving the field now. And the Bears strike back into the Parramatta half. Chris Caruana, now the last tackle. Nigel Roy. And Nathan Barnes falling back to help Shane Werrett. Just outside their own 20-metre line. Werrett slides away up that sideline. Bell. Johnston. Billy Moore takes him up the top. Gets an assist from Greg Florimo. Now Bell again. One-handed offload for Demick. Demick. He pierced them earlier, just a few seconds ago. Campbell. Bell on the left, angling across, picking up Lovell, that is. 40-metre line just in front of them. This is the last. As Campbell gets a kick in and finds the side. David Manson ruling that the tackle had been completed. And denied Parramatta any further use of the football. Jim Dimmick, what's the story, Steve Roach? Yeah, well, the good news is there's no reoccurrence to that knee injury. He's got a cork shin. He should be back. Nine minutes of this match left. Magnificent encounter to open the Optus Cup. Nation. Thirty-five metres away from the opposition line. Taylor Moore, Stewart. This is the last. Taylor's indicating the air. Puts it through the hands. Grubbing kick by Butner. Fielded by Werrett. Back on his own ten-metre line. Well, that's very good play all round from both teams. Jason Taylor looking to run the football on the last. Michael Butner caught the ball, realised that nothing was happening. Put the kick in and Shane where it came up with a beautiful take on a difficult bouncing ball. Campbell. Players pointing at Lation, the North Sydney number 17. Blood coming from a wound above the nose. The Kraken. Put his hand up for a bit of forward work. Simon will clear. Off his own 30 metre line. Bouncing up for Nigel Roy. And put away 35 metres out from his own line. Seven and a half minutes to go. And seldom has there been more than two points in this margin. Knock on. Scott Packerbridge, very upset with himself. He's in a pretty strong tackle, an awkward one, but it just came out. Bears they finished third at the end of 2019 rounds, was it? 22 rounds last year. Parramatta finished 13th. Whether well, that's an indication of the improvement remains to be seen. Campbell, a dummy half, bringing it on the right for Simon and then Pay. Spinning out of a would-be tackle, Dean Pay thought about passing, opted against it. Campbell looking for Johnston. Balmain and Manley tomorrow night at half past nine. Saturday night football. Simon on. Cutting out Morgan, picking up Bell, then away for Woods and picking up Riolo. In from the full-back position. We're at a dummy half. Morgan. Takes it 15 metres away from the touchline. They're 10 metres out. Leading by two. Simon to the air. Pinpoint accuracy right back. Oh! Little bit of handball from one to the other. Well, I think you'll find that Parramatta players got in each other's road there and, and bombed the try. Excellent work to climb high and push the ball back from Heron. That's okay. And then... 
Hay and Smith got in each other's road. If anything, they had too many people there. So the Bears with a let off there. David Fairley has been magnificent. Reba. Great job for a replacement. Big shoes to fill. Mark Soden's had an injury ridden night. Butner kicks. Looking for Nigel Roy down the right flank. He kicks again. They kick again. Coming across is Heron. Heron saves the day for Parramatta. Ah, oh. oh, Chuck Heron. He's a legend. I love him here at Parramatta. Oh, he is now. <laughs> But a nice piece of play there from North Sydney. The bounce just did not go their way into open spaces. Roy got on the toe. So did uh, Caruana and Chook. Oh, that's a genius. And no luck there for Caruana. If he'd have got the kick to go straight where he wanted to, he'd have won the race to the ball. Jason Bell then. Four and a quarter minutes. The Eels, 10 points to 8. Jason Smith. This is the last. Campbell, again kicking out from dummy half. Petherbridge. You see Scott running that ball back. He would have been unaware that Campbell was outside the 40. Jimmy gone for Smith. Reba. Florimo. Johnston launches himself. Morgan just behind him. And then David Fairley. Darren Fritz. McCracken making the tackle on Fritz. Big man requiring big man. Sears. Driving tackle. Campbell it was. There haven't been too many better than the number nine for Parramatta. And a little knock on will give Parramatta another opportunity to attack. And that was another one of those line ball decisions as to whether there was interference from Peter Johnson or whether Matt Sears made the mistake. Referee favouring the home team, really, with three minutes left, this scrum win, they should go on and win the match. If they can't score in this set of six. 25,114 is the attendance official, and the biggest since uh, 1986. Biggest since they won the grand final for a home game, 25,000 here tonight. Ooh, heavy tackle. Does it provide an opportunity for the Bears? It's called back. It'll be a North Sydney feed. Original lock on going against Kelly. Strong defence there from the Bears. All 34 players tonight have given their all and still giving it all with a couple of minutes to go. Inside the last two now as Taylor comes away and feeds it on the right for Butner. The run around with Eichen, the dummy by Eichen. 38 metres out from his line. Oh, did Michael Butner knock on? No, David Manson set off the feet. The crowd booing, but Manson gave an indication for everybody to see. Paramount Darren Fritz. Must watch the chip kick. Everybody in the front line. Billy Moore taken down, not held. Gets a pass away. Floramo, then away for Ben Eichen. He sent a kick off his right foot. That's a good trick. A chance for Matt Sears. And Parramatta eventually clean up. One metre out from their own line, David Woods. Morgan. Final minute. How close was this? Great kick from Eichen. Barnes allowing it to bounce. One thing Parramatta's got to be careful of that they don't offer North Sydney a voluntary tackle. 
gimmick inside the 20. Parramatta would be on, I think, their fourth tackle. Gimmick. Now they've got to give the ball back to them. Five. Time is going to beat the Bears, though. 15 seconds to go. The Eels by 10 to 8. And Johnston knocks on. The scrum will barely have time to pack. Siren in the background. The crowd rise in David Manson. Calls time. Marvellous game of football. And a great start to the 1997 season. In front of the biggest crowd at Parramatta Stadium. 1986.